Hey everybody, it's Carl. Welcome to the bathroom. It's time for a shave. It's a Wednesday night, 8 November. Um, I've got three days worth of growth that needs to come off. I am off tomorrow. I'm not back to work till Saturday. But I want to shave more. And uh, it's about that time. I may or may not end up going to uh, midweek church service tonight. So if I decide to, got to make myself look pretty, right? So, um, what are we using tonight? Well, uh, I took a shower this morning and I didn't want to shower again, so I did a little pre-wash with some Barbasol face wash that I picked up at the dollar store a while back. Uh, to keep with the uh, barbershop theme, we'll be using Sterling Barbershop. This is my hashtag new uh, November or November item of the uh, shave. <clears throat> For the neglected November item, we'll be using the Danny Shulman horsehair brush. I like this brush. The knot is very, like almost, the knot is great, but the backbone is non-existent. It still lathers great, um, and it's a really nice brush. I just don't use it very often. I don't even really know why. Uh, for the razor, this uh, shave is for uh, Nomeo or Leroy. Uh, he's, you know, he's moving along with his uh, shavette skills with that Kamasori, and he wanted to see me do a shave uh, of my chin area. With it, so um, that's what I'm using. I've got a brand new um, Feather Professional in there. First use on that blade. Um, he may have just wanted to watch me cut my chin up because until uh, last week I had a beard and I very rarely shaved my chin. I don't ever think I've shaved my chin with uh, this thing. So it'll be a learning experience for all of us. Um, all right, so let's get shaving here. I've got, uh, like I said, I washed my face already with the Barbasol. I've uh, used the no-name pre-shave uh, oil already. And i got a little bloom water just to get things going. Rehydrate the scruffle. Um, this barbershop, that's a great scent. Um, once again, I wish I had a nose that I could describe stuff, but it's 98% full of boogers, and we had a cold front come through, so it's cold and rainy. It's about 45 degrees, which is cold for us. So uh, I definitely can't smell anything. So let's get lathered up, and we'll get shaving. I hope everybody's having a good week. It's Wednesday, halfway through the week, for those of you folks who uh, work a regular schedule. Uh, like I mentioned, I am off until Saturday I had to burn a couple of shifts because I was getting close to max out you know the holiday time is uh, upon us you know Thanksgiving 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 <laughs> Veterans Day Thanksgiving Christmas New Year's and uh, we accrue we accrue PTO time for all of those so I needed to burn some time because I don't take enough vacation um, mostly because I never know when my back is going to go out so I like to save my time and uh, yeah, so we're lathering up, we're collecting a little bit. That is the one of the things I find with this brush, because it doesn't have much of a backbone. Puck lathering, not so easy. But I think we can make it work as I fling soap across the bathroom. Um, but yeah, so I don't even remember where I was at. I hope everybody is doing well, having good shaves, having a good week, almost to the weekend. Speaking of back going out, my back did go out, so I'm also going to try and get this shave done before it starts to spasm. Um, if you've watched my videos before, you've probably heard me mention that I have degenerative disc disease, which is a fancy type of arthritis in my back so it always hurts and it's kind of like a, a trick knee it decides to act up when it decides to act up there's no rhyme or reason to it um, yesterday it went out while I was walking up the stairs to my apartment wasn't carrying anything wasn't 
moving particularly quickly. It just, uh, I moved wrong, I heard it pop. And uh, it's been painful ever since. Called the doctor this morning. And uh, he was kind enough to send me in a prescription for some steroids. So I should be on the mend. You know, we do oral steroids a couple times a year and they really work. And my back specialist wants me to get steroid injections. And I've done that before in there. They're expensive. I find they don't work any better than the oral steroids. I mean, the relief is much more immediate, but as long as far as duration, you know, I've I've had about three three injections. Sometimes I can get uh, six months to a year. I think was the last one, but sometimes I only get three months of relief. And with the uh, the oral steroids, hundred days was the last time I took them. It was hundred days, a little over hundred. So. In my opinion, six bucks for the oral steroids. I can do that three times a year safely, uh, as opposed to $1,500 for the back injection, which I may do three times a year as well. I'm going to go with the oral. Anyway, enough about that nonsense. <laughs> Look at the lather. It's, uh, it's beautiful. Like I said, the brush works great. It builds a nice lather. It's just super floppy. Um, but that Sterling, man, that Sterling Barbershop, it's got a great scent. Like all Sterling soaps, it lathers very quickly. I imagine it's going to be kind of uh, standard slickness that comes with Sterling, so it will always be nice. All right, well, let's see. I've been flapping my app for seven minutes. I've got a little bit of lather on my face. Let's get shaving. Uh, a lot of guys getting sniped in Facebook world, if you're a member of Facebook world. A lot of presents going out, which is always kind of cool. This blade feels a little tuggy today. But it's shaving. So, yeah, snipes going out. That's cool stuff. I like to see folks getting new goodies. Saw a few mail calls around, which is always nice, especially for a guy who's on a freeze and didn't get anything new. It's good to see uh, new stuff out there. You know, and Douglas Smythe, that guy's such an enabler. <laughs> he puts out a soap like every month, man, and <laughs> I haven't been able to buy any new soaps. Uh, man, since July, July 24th, a little over 100 days. So it's always tempting, but it's cool that he's doing well, his business is doing well. guys out there enjoying his products he makes good product so let's see sterling has got their seasonal scents out right now which is another thing i'm kind of sad of because i like the christmas scents and i usually do a you know i do a christmas theme when Christmas comes around, and then I also typically do a Christmas in July. So <clears throat> I'm looking forward to picking up their Christmas scents when the freeze is over.
the chin. And why did I ever shave my goat? So you saw Kenny Ribberall put out a shave at shave the other day. It was a great video. He's really coming along with the shave at shaves. He asked me for some tips in his video about how to get the across the grain. <laughs> I, I, you know, I'm still trying to figure that one out myself, honestly. And uh, what I have figured out, I'm not going to do it with this one, but when you come across. Get that blade as perpendicular uh, to the ground as you can so that you're truly coming across. And then when you come across your neck, it's kind of the same motion. You follow the contour of your neck around. That's how I've been doing it. I get pretty decent results. Um, Eric over on Adventures in Wet Shaving. Did kind of a how-to not too long ago about the uh, the half pass or the across the, the across the grain pass. Check out its video; it's really good. All right, that's the first pass, y'all. Not too shabby. Oh. Cheeks feel nice. Jaw lines are off. Neck's a little rough. Let's get a second pass. Let's see how it goes. 
I don't know if you saw anything that you're not doing there, uh, Leroy. Um, <laughs> I got, I got no, I got no tips or skills when it comes to the chin. You've actually probably got more experience with 15 or 16 shaves um, than I do with the couple years that I've had that thing, especially on the shit on the chin. I don't think I've shaved with it 15, 20 times in the two. I guess maybe two or three years I've had it. So keep at it, man. You're getting better. It's uh, obvious in every shave. You'll get there, and uh, you'll get that five-minute shave before you know it. And then I'll be watching your videos for tips. How about that? Second pass. So for me, down and kind of across is with the grain. Up is across the grain. And then this way is against the grain. Except for once I get to the crease in the, the fat of my neck, down is with the grain and up is against the grain. So. If you're wondering if you're new or you're trying to figure this stuff out and you're wondering why I switch and go up on the first pass, that's why. I'm trying to go with the grain of the of the beard as much as possible. Because uh, when you go against the grain, especially if it's early on in the shave, you get a lot of irritation. Sorry if I'm not super talkative, guys. This is one of the my least used razors as far as Chevette's go. So I'm really trying to concentrate this one. Always tends to give me some Some grief if I'm not super careful with it. So try not to be super chatty when I use it.
a little dry here. Uh, ribs, if you are not following Frank Stromberg, I think his YouTube name is Spooky Bones. He's actually really good to watch on the Across the Grain Pass as well. All right, that's two passes. Let's see, not bad. Um, you know, I'm really tempted to go for that across the grain pass, but I just don't know how to do it with this thing. So, and uh, we're getting a little long in the tooth in this video. So, oh, uh, why not? Let's go. Ah, oh, smells great. This brush still has just a bit of funk left in it from getting broken in. I guess if I actually used it more, maybe it would be a little bit better. There's my dryer. Alright y'all, this is the first ever for me, trying to do the across the grain pass with this razor. Because that is a technique that I've just started practicing with. So, let's see if I can't massacre myself.
So far, not bad. Looks like I got myself at some point. So good, looks like. Ha! Well, there you go. That's actually really good. I think that's as good as that one's going to get there, fellas. Let's uh, get rinsed off. So I think mostly because I am not as proficient with this razor as I am with my others. The head's got a, it's a little bigger, the blade's a little longer. Nicked myself there. Got a couple little weepers right there and right there. But overall, that's a pretty good shave. Um, took off three days of growth with no, no problem. Still got a little rough spot there, but I'm not going to fight for it. And then a little bit on my neck, but not too bad. So that's it, y'all. Thanks for sticking around for 30 minutes. Uh, if you were watching this trying to learn something, I hope it was at least a little bit helpful. Uh, everybody have a great week. Hope you have a good weekend coming up. Have a good night. And no matter what happens, I hope you get to spend some time with your friends and family because that is the most important thing. Have a good night and God bless.